Hello everyone, I am Disha Gupta and welcome to my YouTube channel The Nerdy Bookworm. So before I start today's video, I really want you to subscribe to and like and share my channel because I can really really help you in reading those fat books under 15 minutes. So today's book is The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. Uh, the Scarlet Letter is set in Boston in 1600s prior to the American independence. At that time, uh, Boston was a part of Massachusetts Bay Colony. The story features adultery, love, passion and all other emotions in the rawest form in a Puritan setting. The book begins with Hester with her illegitimate daughter Pearl in her arms at the scaffold being publicly shamed for having committed adultery. Hester is forced to wear letter A on her chest at all times as a symbol of shame and adultery. On the scaffold, she refuses to reveal the name of Pearl's father. The minister Arthur Dimsdale continuously asks her for the identity, but she protects him in front of the adultery parade. However, the in the crowd, Hester recognizes her long-lost husband, Ro Roger Chillingworth. She is sent back to the prison for not revealing her lover's identity. Chillingworth visits Hester in the prison and forces her to promise never to reveal her true identity as her husband. He also vows to find and destroy the life of her lover. After some time, Hester and Pearl moves into a cottage into the woods where she earns her livelihood by doing stitch work. Over the years, Pearl grows up as a defiant child as she refuses to obey anything her mother says. Roger Chillingworth tells everyone that he is a physician while living in the town and he realizes that Reverend Arthur Dimsdale is the father of Pearl. He starts living with Dimsdale as his doctor after which he torments the minister for every living moment. The minister is too afraid to confess his sin publicly but his pain from strange red mark on his chest is quite visible. One night, Dimsdale is so filled with the shame and guilt about his hiding secret that he visits the scaffold and imagines the shame and humiliation that, ha that happened to Hester. Uh, finally, Dimsdale confesses about being afraid of Chillingworth to Hester and Pearl. Hester realizes that Chillingworth is psychologically manipulating Dimsdale and she reveals Chillingworth's true identity as her husband to Dimsdale. They have a clandestine meeting in the woods where Hester proposes to run away to Europe and start a new life to which Dimsdale agrees. Both are happy and after seven long years, Hester finally removes her scarlet letter A from her chest and lets her hair down. Seeing her mother like this, Pearl fails to recognize her. The day before the planned elopement, Dimsdale gives his final election sermon and it receives the highest praises ever. Dimsdale is overburdened by his guilt and confesses on the scaffold in front of the townspeople the truth of his and Hester's relationship. Dimsdale calls himself a bigger sinner than Hester, uh, uh, than Hester and then he rips open his shirt exposing the scarlet letter A on his chest carved. Dimsdale then collapses on, on his knees and dies on the scaffold and pulls him, uh, Pearl kisses him a final goodbye. Chillingworth gets sick out of frustration for not being able to take his revenge and dies a year later. He leaves all his property and wealth to Pearl. After the death of Dimsdale, Heston and Pearl had left the town for several years and no one hears for them for a long time. After many years, Hester returns but alone. She had, never she had never removed her scarlet letter and she comes back to resume her charitable work. When she passes away, she is buried in the site of King's Chapel next to Dempsdale, sharing a single tombstone with a scarlet letter A on it. So that was it. That was the summary of the scarlet letter. If you liked it, please don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.